this video is going to be something along the lines of you can still be a bot and have money and how escaping the rat race is just one uh, another modern day marketing term well especially nowadays so first of all let's talk about the rat race right don't see the rat race as a, a single event right the way i've started to look at it is that the rat race is actually kind of like the olympics yeah in the olympics you got you got different events you got 100 meters 200 meters 400 meters you got javelin shot put you got all these different event events right so this rat olympics right is what we're looking at now what people are telling you when they're saying to escape the rat race they're actually telling you no change the event that you're competing in the the general trend nowadays is okay look you see that nine to five event the nine to five race that's not good they're saying your odds in winning that race are very low they're also saying that the race is fixed it's unfair you know no one no one actually wins the nine to five race and they're saying that the amount of training that you put in for the nine to five race doesn't account for the results you get during that race they're saying compete in entrepreneurship race or the freelancing race yeah they're telling you take my training for this race and you'll come out on top you'll come out victor victorious right so you have to be careful now i'm not saying you know don't be a freelancer don't start your own business all this stuff but i'm saying you have to be aware and be careful of why you're doing it or why you're training this way you know in terms of for your purpose and where you want to end up because what you get now is a lot of people just competing in the same race and doing the same thing as everyone else when it comes to entrepreneurship you like if you go on instagram you're going to see loads of different people promoting their coaching business you know i help business owners scale to this i help entrepreneurs or i help teachers in this scale to this and i help people convert more leads and you're going to see the same thing from the courses that everyone else is doing you know and then on top of that everyone else is competing with their courses buy my course because you're going to get this this and this and it will teach you this or buy my course and you know you'll be better than this and all that stuff right so it's all the game it's all the marketing game now i'm not saying you shouldn't compete in this race i think you should compete in different rat races you know depending on what your purpose is however it's going to be the mindset going into it and also i want to make this clear before we go any further when you look at the top like the top dogs in society in terms of businessmen right for example elon musk or bill gates right these people have created stuff that is one of a kind revolutionary do you get what i'm saying they they've done something different to get to that top position so elon musk you can look at like paypal when he started obviously now he's got tesla spacex and all that but even paypal at the time it was like a revolutionary thing to you know make payments and that that changed the whole the impact that made changed you know the whole way money is dealt today probably and transactions are made today <clears throat> so then if you look at bill gates with microsoft it's like you can't even get certain jobs if you don't know how to use like excel or word do you get what i'm saying so these products these things are something that humans are now just reliant on and were revolutionary do you understand whereas when you look at the other things like you know the coaching businesses and all this stuff it's like what a lot of people are doing not not as much as the nine to five you know this race this this event is kind of like a new event in the olympics but still it's there's a lot of people doing it and it's it, it's a rat race in itself so this this is what i just want to make you aware of now when we go to we're going to come back to this but when we go to the bots and have money this is what i mean so now you get successful in this stuff what do you have to do to to sometimes maintain it you don't have to keep doing what everyone else is doing you know pumping out social media stuff saying the same sort of marketing things that 
everyone else is saying, you know, like escape the rat race. They don't want you to win. The matrix is against you. All this stuff, right? It's all, it's all, it's all the same. And really, you can't actually escape the matrix without you have to detach from all this stuff, right? That is, that is the only way to actually do it. The moment you're in some sense playing for money, you're still in the matrix. You know, the matrix is based around money as well. So I'm not saying you shouldn't play for money. You shouldn't play the matrix, play the game within the matrix or whatever, but just just be aware that it's still part of the rat race. Yeah. And then you, you can see like loads of celebrities doing bot things and jumping on trends and stuff like that to stay relevant and stay at the front of the race, at the front of the rat race. Okay. So yeah, the, you need to just, yeah, remember that the rat race is a, a great marketing term. So be aware when you see it, you know, think marketing. Most people who talk about escaping the rat race have a product to sell you. So to summarize this, you're not escaping the rat race. You're just winning the rat race. All these products that are being sold to you are to help you win the rat race. Yeah, not to escape. Escaping is different. Do you understand? Because why are you even competing in the first place? Do you get what I'm saying? If you want to escape. So I now am a firm believer that you should compete. Why? Because you're alive. So you might as well do something. But you got to do it in a way you got to first of all understand and be aware of what you're doing. Do you get what I'm saying? Like if, if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to get loads of money and then escape the rat race. Not really. No, you just become a top player in the game. Essentially, you become a, a, one of the top athletes. You see what I'm saying? And then what happens? The top athletes, they get sponsorships. They get the deals. Everyone likes them. Do you understand? It's the same thing. So to escape the 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 rat race now, yeah, to escape this whole rat race, first of all, you have to understand it's all, it's all in your head. It's all mental, right? It's everything is like, in some sense, thought. It's all, all comes from, all stems from thought. So all these concepts you have of, that are in your mind of being, you know, aware or the self, the witness, all these stuff lie in the mind. The concept is in the mind. So sometimes you need that concept to go beyond the mind. Do you get what I'm saying? To truly feel the essence of the self, which is unchanged, right? I know we're taking a turn, but just stay with me. So to to fully understand the mind, you need to understand that everything in the mind is concept. And to go beyond the mind, you need to leave concept behind. But concept can assist you with going beyond. It's, it's that realization. Do you understand? But the self is unchanged it's always the same it's infinite in some sense right so once you kind of realize this you already escape you've already escaped because you're no longer attached to the rat race you can you can come and go freely you can enter the rat race freely and your mind and your mental is clear you have a you have a different perspective so once you are aware of that essence and you understand that everything is an experience, anything in the mind is concept and to go behind, to go beyond, sorry, you have to forget concept and leave the mind. We can enter the rat race freely. That's a summary. So now once we enter the rat race freely, we're a bit more open, a bit more creative. We can do things a bit differently. And this is where to, you know, finish off for you guys out there that are trying to start your business or trying to, you know, improve yourself. Remember that just because everyone is doing something doesn't mean you have to do it that way. Be creative. Think of your own, you know, your own way to do things. And maybe some of you out there are going to create a new event, a new rat race Olympic event, which then everyone's going to jump on and start competing in each other against competing with each other sorry against so bear that in mind remember the top the people that right at the top what they did and how it revolutionized society if you can do something similar then you know the generational excellence is in your grasp because that is what we really talk about in this on this channel and 
you know, you can win these rat races, you can have a successful coaching business, a successful copywriting business, whatever it is, whatever you're doing as a freelancer, and you can create generational excellence with that. But just remember to be at the top, you have to do something different, you have to stand for something a bit different, you have to be a bit polarizing in the way you do things to build that following. And that is what's going to create that big material success in this material world. But beyond that, we don't, we don't need to get too attached. So in summary, enter these events though, keep playing, keep competing, you know, it's, it's healthy. As long as you do it in a healthy way, it's healthy. It's going to make you better. It's going to help you improve. It's going to help you create generational excellence and provide more wisdom than you had that you can provide to the next generation. Just, just a quick extra things that I want to say before we end the video, right? Just to grasp this concept a bit more. You can't escape the rat race by earning lots of money. You'll just win the rat race. Do you understand? And you may think, oh, but you can set your business up, up in a way where it runs for you. Okay, that's fine. But your business is still running the rat race for you. Do you get what I'm saying? Even now, let's say things start to go wrong or, or you decide to just forget it, switch off your business and stop. You haven't escaped the rat race because you're going to start falling behind again, aren't you? You're going to start losing money. You won't be able to stay in a nice apartment or the nice house. You won't be able to go on holiday as much. And now what? You're, you're fifth place in the race. Now more stuff happened. And now you're 10th place. Now you're hundredth in the top hundred, top thousand. And then you have to start running faster again and pick things up to get back to the start. So that's just another way to see it. You can't, by just trying to get more money, you don't actually escape the rat race. You just win the rat race. And when does the rat race uh, finish? We don't know. It's pretty much when you die. There's no like finish line. You could say, yeah, when I've got, when I'm financially free, okay, but you have to keep running to stay financially free. If you stop running, then eventually, you know, things will catch up unless you've created, you know, so much momentum that you can stop running until you die. Then, okay, but you're still running that race. The momentum's still propelling you forward. So just another little thing to think about before we end off and to make it a bit more clear what I'm trying to say. So escaping the rat race is actually within the mind. All right, I'll see you guys very soon. If you stayed this long, comment, you can't escape the rat race. I'll see you soon.